everyone, I'm Simran from Universal Nati. A lot of you have booked your CCL exams uh, and you're still not sure as to what to expect in the exam, what we're basically preparing for and you know how do they mark the test. So I'm going to all answer all your questions today in this video. So the first question that I'm going to answer today is what is Nati exam and what is included in it. So in the Nati exam, there will be two dialogues. So what is a dialogue? A dialogue is a conversation between two people. So these two people, uh, one of them would be a professional and the other one would be a Hindi speaker person, Hindi speaking person. Uh, so basically it will be a conversation between those two people. It could be a scenario, for example, a medical scenario where a doctor and patient are interacting with each other or it could be a Centrelink uh, payment option, so where someone has gone to Centrelink and is speaking to a Centrelink officer. So there'll be an English speaking person and there'll be a Hindi speaking person and you'll be just interpreting uh, whatever they are saying. So let's say for example, you go to a doctor and doctor says, hi, how are you? So you'll be interpreting that into Hindi. Okay, aaj aap kaise hain? Same way Hindi speaker would say, I am not well, I have a So interpret in English that I am not well and I have had fever from quite some time. So this is what you will, be, you will be expecting in the exam. So the next thing that I am going to answer is, what is the test format and what is the marking criteria? So there will be uh, two dialogues as I mentioned in the previous um, section of this video. Uh, so the whole test is worth 90 marks and the two dialogues each are worth 45 marks. All right. And to be able to pass the exam, you need minimum of 29 out of both of them. And altogether you need 63 out of 90 to pass the total exam. So why? So if 29 is a minimum threshold, you need to attain 29 each out of uh, one dialogue and 63 is a total of all together. So you're basically aiming at at least 32 to 33 marks in each dialogue to be able to easily pass the exam. So that's how the test is marked. All right, so let's look at what is a dialogue and what um, constitutes a dialogue. So basically a dialogue is worth 290 to 310 words. Uh, which are then equally divided among English and language other than English, so which could be Hindi, Punjabi, or whatever else um, languages are out there. So basically, they're equally divided as mentioned over here. And then there are segments. So if you can see, E1, E2, E3, and so on. And then in the language other than English as well, there are segments, H1, H2, H3. I've just um, noted that as Hindi language. So basically, all together, uh, most, of, most of the times it's six segments in each direction. So all together you're basically looking at 12 segments in one dialogue. So in an exam you're basically working on 24 segments all together. So the next component of this video is how are the exams assessed. So first thing when you go into the exam hall they will play recordings for you and your answer is also recorded. So once you have completed your test, your recording goes to the assessor and he will then mark your test. So there are various things that they will be uh, looking at in your transcript. So there can be things like omissions, uh, and when you committed omissions in your exam, and then there is di distortion if you have not uh, delivered your message correctly. Then there could be grammatical errors, you have committed a lot of grammatical mistakes in your test. There could be uh, additions, so you've um, added information in it. Uh, and there, there's whole heaps of other things that they are looking at, pronunciation, you know, your idiomatic views. Uh, there are so many different things that they will be looking at and they will be deducting your marks on those grounds. So what is the most crucial thing to pass this exam is accuracy. So your message has to be accurate uh, whenever you're delivering it, so there shouldn't be any of these mistakes and the all, all the other mistakes that I've mentioned in the past section. Uh, so you shouldn't have those things in your test. So it's not always about, you know, knowing the language or vocabulary. There's a whole heaps of things that they can judge you on, you know. So your accuracy is the main thing where you have delivered the message as it was supposed to be delivered. 
So you need topical information, you need to know the scenarios, different scenarios, you need to be able to manage the information properly in the exam. So when people think that um, this exam is all about knowing the language, not really. You need, there, there's all other things that you need to carefully look at and enhance your skills on those bases. So to understand how the dialogue works and how you would take notes about the Nati exam, you can go on and look at our other videos. We have posted other videos where you can see how to take notes and what are the uh, examples of some dialogues out there. So I hope this video was helpful for you guys to understand the Nadi exam structure and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for tuning in. Bye.